Hey guys, this will be video six for the uh, vintage White Falcon replica build, and uh, I'm going to dive right in and continue with the uh, uh, net construction um, explanation and considerations. So let's do just that. Uh, and then after I finish talking about that briefly, I'm going to talk about the body a little bit. So hopefully this will be a really good video and it'll be uh, as informative as it is enjoyable to kind of uh, start making uh, various considerations because you're at a point to where if you've just pulled the trigger and bought, bought the material for your neck, well, that means you're going to be building a body as well. So it may be that you order all this material at once. I don't really recommend that because you might bail and that's okay. So there's nothing wrong with walking away and, um, or just, you know, or, or throwing in the towel and quitting. <laughs> that's okay as well. Better to just swallow your pride and move forward than to uh, get into a situation you can't handle. But, um, on a positive note, let's talk about what you would need to do in order to build a neck. And, uh, let's say you're going to build a traditional neck like I've already mentioned, that is, uh, uh, I tell you what, let me do this. I'm going to go off the cuff here and I'm going to say, let's build a three piece neck. And uh, let's say that neck is going to be built up out of uh, three. Well, if it's a three piece neck, uh, all you're going to have to do is buy one board and that board only needs to be three quarters of an inch thick, but that board needs to be finished meaning a surfaced, at a minimum, surfaced on two sides. If you don't know what surfaced means, then uh, you, you'll need to reference that from some other videos, because if you don't know what surfaced means, you might not be qualified to proceed forward with what it is we're doing. This Because this is very much, uh, pretty much the pinnacle of woodworking when it comes to building a musical instrument, other than like building a violin or a cello or something like that. So on that note, let's say you're going to, you're going to order some material and you, and you're sitting there right now watching this video and you just want to hear this guy that talks about being uh, a guitar builder, tell you what minimum width board to order and what minimum length board to order. Cause we know that if this, if this, if this maple is uh, going to be pretty, then it can get expensive. That's why I'm saying let's build a paint grade guitar. Okay. Because this maple does not have to be pretty. It does not have to be expensive. But what does it need to be? It, let me pause the video briefly and get a, a sample because I forgot to get a piece of maple. Okay, I'll pick back up. Uh, the, the green area that you see in front of us is basically a 1x6, 28 inches long. Uh, it, that's nominal. It's actually three quarters of an inch thick, five and one half inches wide by a true 28 inches long. The material that you're going to want to buy is what's called plain sewn, okay, or flat sewn, just like you would, you know, in other words, that's the growth rings of the board, okay? That would be the board right there. Uh, and I'm, I'm only going to mention it just so that you'll see you know what you can do it doesn't matter where it came from but nonetheless this would be quarter song and this was like a large billet that was roughly we'll say it was an inch and a half thick and then i i book matched it so that you could open it up and then this is called quarter song you know you see how the annular rings are running very much uh, on that that orientation you don't want that for what we're doing uh, that creates really pretty figure and stuff like this, but the, even this would not be a quality maple for neck building because this is soft maple. Now you can get quarter sawn hard maple and stuff like that, but it gets really expensive. Again, we don't need that for this project. Uh, what we need is basically a one by six, um, uh, under 30 inches long. And then, uh, but if you, if you do order that board, you can, uh, um, it's really, it's really critically important that you order it from someone who, uh, whom has already a uh, surfaced it, or it's either an S4S, meaning it's even, even has straight lined. I so would prefer you to just go ahead and order it surfaced all four sides. That means it's truly nice and square so that it's perfectly square, you know, off of this flat down to that corner. 
and then across the bottom and then back up the side, you got a perfectly square uh, plane. Okay, that's called S4S or surfaced four sides. And some people call it square four sides. Why is that so critically important? Trust me, you'll you'll see in a moment if I in case I, I, I there's no way I can forget what I'm gonna mention later on. So now what you got to do is, uh, and I'm not going to give you any of these dimensions, but you just make your little paper templates based on what it is you're building. And what I, I had mentioned a little while ago, well, maybe you're going to build a Les Paul. Uh, sometimes what I'll do, I'll take a board and I will rough out uh, one leaf for a Les Paul type build. And then I'll, I'll, I'll have a little bit of space left over and I'll grab I'll take advantage of that small area that I couldn't get a less Paul uh, profile out of, and maybe I'll cut a uh, arch top profile. Okay. But what I want us to do is just focus on just building one guitar. I better leave this on the tail because I do not want to drop that and risk breaking it. So we got a board. It's one by six by 28. Okay. If you got it surfaced all four sides, meaning that line is real nice and straight, if you're really good, if you're really, really good, uh, and you may not believe this, but you're just going to have to trust me. The surface that you see right here and the surface that you see right there is exactly the board I received from my supplier. And um, meaning he had already machined it, and I did such a good job doing all my rough out that the machine surface on this edge of the board and the machine's machined surface on this edge of the board became the actual surface that I will glue my fretboard to. And did I have to sand it and shape it and level it and, and run it through a, a shape or anything? Nope, nothing. I may have, I may have run a flat uh, board across it with just a little bit of 220, just enough to clean up the glue lines and stuff like that. But that's what I meant by if you start with a really well, uh, See, well, you, can, you have really have no choice. You have to have a really well seasoned board and it has to be very much surfaced. Either you order it from someone that way or you better have the equipment to do that yourself. So uh, on that note, we got we, we got our profile and you lay the lay the drawing all the way up to that edge right there. Pull the pull it all the way down to the end and then maybe give yourself a little bit of lead way according to if you're splitting hairs i'm really bad about cutting it too close but nonetheless um and then you'll put this profile in uh like this and this we're going to build a three we're going to we're going to yield a three piece out of this okay just take a mental mental note of that Okay, now just imagine that we had another, or we've already taken our pencil and we've drawn, you don't have to have three of these. You could just use, you could just use one. Well, I already lost it. You could just make one of these and draw it and then, uh, you know, flip it over and then lay it right there and draw it right there. But I, I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. So now your, your third leaf We'll go all the way up against this this finished edge right here. And you're going to be cutting it really close when you when you rough out for this leaf right here. The last thing you want to do is get too close to this curve right here. If anything, cut the corner of the dovetail off in order to make certain that you have a beautiful end joint. Because the last thing you want to do is screw up or chatter right here because if you, you know, you, you, you just can't, you can't, well, you can in this guitar because it's paint gray, but um, discipline yourself to, to be, to be roughing this out as though you're going to be staining it or clear coating, it, or it's going to be a visible neck. And then what you'll see by that, that grain orientation, see how the annular rings are going off that way and going off that way. That was achieved by flipping one of the uh, rough out leaves in the, in, in a, different orientation and the least important one the, they're all important but the out the, the the two most important ones are are the two on the outside and then if anything this one in the middle you might machine it a little bit big and then clean up this flat surface later on so that once you glue the three together 
you know, just imagine that this is three. There's a center piece and that, so that once you glue the pieces together, then you could come in and uh, clean up uh, anything that's a little bit odd, okay? Or if anything, it's gonna be rough on the backside. So uh, just uh, process through what it is that I've laid out here. And is this the only only way to do it? No, of course not. There's, if you wanted to, if you had a, a, a board, you could cut three of these this way. And how would you do it? Uh, this is how I learned from Benedetto. He, he basically did, he had a wide piece of maple and he roughed them out like this right here. Just, just humor me and plan like, and pretend like that's a, you know, you know, that's a shorter. In other words, see, this is a Les Paul. The the heel on the arch top guitar is actually going to be up here, so you'll you would be out of a uh, one by six, roughly twenty eight inches long. You're going to be able to get three, three leaves. But see, the 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 thing I don't really care about this. Anything that's going on. Uh, uh, grain orientation it may be nice and pretty and pl plain sewn over here and then once it goes off the edge it really goes off more rift and if you if you do it the way I did it initially where one's offset then you can then you can put those two on the uh, outer base and outer treble side and then the one in the middle ends up being the centerpiece okay let me check the time